Hi, Pete Moore, editor of Chief Sports Magazine, here at uh, Iowa 2015 on the Shirovsky stand. And with Daniel from uh, Shirovsky, who's the head of training, um, this is their very latest X5 long range scope. Daniel, could you please tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, this is our totally new innovation now. It's a rifle scope which is called X5. X is standing for extreme, so yeah. that means you get really a very robust product uh, for long range shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, you have an elevation turret. Uh, a windage turret, parallax correction, illumination unit here, and it's definitely made for long range shoots with big calibers. Yeah, okay. So tell us a little bit about the turret, because that was, I, I read on the, on the information that you've got a 116 unit of angle out of the turret. It's exactly, the whole wow. range is 160 MOA. Yeah. So that means we have an MOA system in here. Yeah. So we have different kind of reticles what we use. Of course, you can have also different kind of uh, turrets here. In this case, we have the, the quarter MOA solution. Yeah. There is also an eighth um, uh -huh. MOA solution. Two models with two different kind of magnifications are available. Yeah. So three and a half to 18 by 50, and the five to 25 by 56. Pretty impressive spec, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Especially because also of the of the high performance from the optical device. Yeah. You really have the chance to see all, all, also your shots on the target. And you can, I assume, get this with standard turrets and a ballistic reticle rather than the, the, the plain cross with, with, with the, the BBC turret such. Yeah. No, in both cases, so, so you have the turrets, yeah. and additionally you, oh, you, you can have, the, the, well, you have the turrets, the, the turrets and the and the reticles. I see. So and if you I can want choose to use the reticle, I see. That's in the right. situation you can choose oh, what, what you need. Yeah. Um, it's a 30 mil body tube, so you must have done something to get all that MOA into a small body tube. Exactly, and that was definitely a huge challenge to keep yeah. the 30 millimeter tube. And uh, related to the optical design, it was possible to have space enough uh, also mm -hmm. for, for the for the vintage and the and the, and the uh, elevation. Turret. So I, was, I mean, I've just finished testing this ISV8 and the other two got to 20, and that's a very nice scope, but it's over to nearly two pounds in weight. And I noticed this is quite, by comparison for a long range scope, this is very well weighted. It's not too exactly, heavy. Yeah. exactly. So the weight is uh, 870 to 900 gram. Yeah. Um, the, uh, for the uh, rifle scope in this case, with illumination unit. Yeah. So it's that's the same as Z6I, pretty much, isn't it? it not, not really. Oh, no. So it's a little bit different. So you don't have the swirl light function yeah. because this is a rifle scope which is mainly used in the lying position. Yeah, so, yeah. And you have ten steps of uh, brightness. So and every oh, touch so. is a. Is well, a, and a there's, no, there's no um, day and night switch either, is there? E exactly. Yeah, so you can switch it on and switch it off here, and then with plus and minus you can adjust. Uh, the, the, the reticle, because in there, when you look through, you see that the whole reticle is illuminated, oh, not just yeah. the dot in the middle. Different. Yeah. And so when's, when will we like to see these? Are they in production now, or are they...? Of course, so yeah. you see we have them already here. Yeah. So um, here on EVA, it's the uh, start of our communication, uh -huh. and we will deliver them in September this year. Wow. Good. Dale, thank you much for your time, okay. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.